Welcome back, everybody, to RimWorld competitive style multiplayer while playing a single player game with Widzy. Yeah, how you doing? That was an interesting buzz. It's the longest. Yeah, it's the longest title I want that, that we can have. T-shirt. Yeah, I, it's gonna wrap around and then it's gonna end. Like it's gonna start on the left nipple, go all the way around, end on the right nipple. I mean, you plan. joke, but I know people would actually want to play <laughs> by that straight up. Dude, I guarantee that people are gonna hear that and they're gonna go, "Yeah, I'll buy it." And everyone's gonna be like, "Why?" It's no. Could you imagine like actually seeing that out in public? What in God's name is that T-shirt? Yeah, anyway. people would be they'd be quite confused. But anyway, how are you, Woodsy? I'm doing uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. How, how have you been? You doing okay? Uh, I'm great. Besides the fact that my colony has been in absolute distress for <laughs> I don't know since we last talked. Uh, Whereas, and I hate to be that guy. But uh, I have not. Ooh, I have. Yeah, you had no coming. issues. Oh, how 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 exciting, man! I'm not so, even gonna talk to him. What well, you should definitely talk to them. I don't but know how to talk to anyone in this game. <laughs> that's a fair point. You just gotta right click on the guy that has a question mark over him. Oh, that would make sense. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think I have currency, but why not? Let's try it. I can, I can trade if, in boom rats, sir. Check the top left. Do you have silver? Uh, oh, I mean a little bit. Yeah, I just haven't been mining yeah. it. Because uh, you start with like 500 or something like that. Oh, okay. But, that's not that bad then. So anyway, for those that are, you know, solely watching on Widzy's side and don't know what's going on with my place, mm -hmm. uh, we have had a death. Uh, we had a guy stabbed, Jonas. Uh, we had my dog die because my character, Tyler, got in a murderous rage and killed our dog, uh, cause he tried to kill Jonas, and then I had to shoot my own person to knock him out to not kill Jonas, and then Jonas died anyway, so, oh God. really just, a, a 10 out of 10 procedure that we had go on there, um, let's see, what else, I just finished <laughs> research for hydroponics, it's quite exciting. Oh boy. Um, I had like 10 or 12 Yorkshire Terriers join my uh, colony, and then I proceeded to let all of them die of either malnutrition or, uh, I traded them for money. And by money, I mean medicine, but in a lot of ways, the same thing. That's um, that's really all I got. Hmm. So. All right. Cool, cool. And for those that aren't watching on my side and are only watching on Widzy's, wait, for those that are just watching what? on my side and not watching on Widzy's, <laughs> my brain decided to forget how to talk. Yeah. Uh, um, what is going on on your side, my friend? So for the most part, um, with the exception of like 1,800 people just swarming my thing, but they're, they're traitors, so they're actually <laughs> not getting destroyed. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a bodyguard named Giggles. Nice. Um, so pretty much since we started... Uh, nothing's happened at all. <laughs> like, I got one raider. Uh, oh god, why is the, the audio is just completely gone? Uh, I got one raider, and then the start of the last video that I recorded right before this was, uh, just like a lightning storm from hell and burned 80% of my trees away, so... Nice! Yeah, so I, uh, thank god I built solar power generators fucking everywhere. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. Can I ask, were they by any chance raiders of the Lost Ark? I was half hoping you were going to go there, half not. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'll always go there if okay. it's going to be a uh, if it's going to be a bad crappy reference. Oh man, I have like 95% chance. Just just keep talking to me, please. Um all right, so Let's haul those things, actually. Uh, I'm trying to build... Okay, so what I got currently going, and I should probably, like, depower this light currently. Um, I got, like, this just building in the center of nothing here, and I'm going to try and use it as a hydroponic space. The problem is, for whatever God knows reason, they're just... They're not building this second uh, solar panel array. Like, it's sat for, like, ten days. So pick somebody that's constructing and then right click on the solar array and then tell them to go build it. Oh, I did not know that you could give them direct instructions. I thought those were kind of like Absolutely. Sims. No, you like I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how you're alive. Like I don't know how I've had <laughs> hell and back 
and you're just like, yeah, we tamed an ox, uh, we had a party, and everything is a-okay peachy because I have had nightmares. Te <laughs> technically not. Uh, we did have an alpha beaver raid, and uh, an, emo, an emu decided to self-tame itself. And an now, emo? Was it by any chance a kappa? No. Thank okay. God. I was it just was, curious. It was actually a penta love. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> God, that's even worse than a kappa. I know, right? No, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, I didn't even know animals could do that. Like, I just have an emu wandering around waiting to be slaughtered, so it's great. Absolutely. Speaking of penta, I don't want to, like... So far, this series has been a lot of we just roast penta whenever we're together. Um, one, I really doubt he's going to watch any right. of these. And if he does, then really, I apologize in advance, uh, Penta. But I have to say, and I do not mean this by any, uh, by any hate whatsoever. I had no idea it was going to be like this when I did it. I have a colonist whose name is Penta and he is the pissiest, <laughs> saltiest human being ever, like in the history of Rimworld colonists. I mean, this guy, he has not been in a good mood once. He's greedy for an impressive bedroom. There, like, no one else has a bedroom. This guy just... It says, decent barrack, minus five. Like... Oh, wow. He just hates everything. Oh. I'm getting a plus two for decent dining room. But other than that, I mean, he is the pissiest man. He did just tame a hare, though. And I mean, now I would like to bring this hair back home but i don't know how to i don't know how to move animals closer to my house do you have any idea um okay so i found i didn't find out exactly how to move them because i tamed a few things but the problem is they don't let you actually control them uh okay. what i did was i made a little building kind of just off and if you go into architect zone and you can do ex gotcha you can do expand allowed area and uh, that allows you to do an animal area. Okay. Yeah, I had one of my muffalo kind of sitting there for a little while until he died. So, I mean, I, I guess that's how it works. Okay. So, if I expand my home area, then the animals will just come to it? Or... I think that's how it works. All right. I mean, honestly, it's good enough for me. Uh Cause that was that was the issue with my dumb Yorkies was they all crowded in like that bottom area that's open. Oh really? And they never came up to my base, so I just didn't feed them. <laughs> yeah. Because I wasn't gonna run all the way down there. I mean, it just wasn't worth my time. So. Right. Yeah. That that's kind of how I was too. I tamed something and like it just sat there for ten days and died. So that was cool. But uh, whatever. And now for some odd reason, one of my uh, people are just making parkas like mad. So nice. That's I actually I need I need clothes. It keeps on giving me the warning of need warm clothes. And yeah. I don't what are, what are you making clothes out of? Uh, so there is a wooden electric tailor bench. And that's how I was yeah. using those. The problem... Okay, but like the material do you have? Oh, uh, I set up a cotton plant thing. And then... gotcha. I somehow lucked out with a cargo pod, and it had something like 1,500 alpaca hide. Oh, so, uh, damn. Okay. Yeah. Oh, That's cool. fair. And uh, Fatson's gotten sick from infection. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jonas. My Jonas is dead, so I'm allowed to... Uh... I'm allowed to double rip Jonas. Nah, man, my Jonas is my Jonas is a fucking trooper. He is also our primary care physician, so I really hope he survives. Yeah, my Jonas, like, I had a love hate relationship with him because at <laughs> first I was like, okay, Jonas, you need to not, right? Because he was really pissing me off, and then like over time, I all of a sudden had this like absolute passion for saving Jonas, and then he died, and I was like, this just sums up my life. Oh God! <laughs> I I attach myself to a RimWorld character, and then there he goes. So see, that's what you got to do, man. The easiest way is just to not attach yourself to anything in this uh, world, and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, let me just hop right on that. Yeah, just don't right. attach yourself to anything. Uh, so uh, advice from Woodsy. Yeah, I I have I have a whole podcast of advice. Don't listen to it. Um, <laughs> so how do you get metal? Oh, is that how a chunk of spacecraft fell? Yeah, the, the chunks of spacecraft give you steel and components. You can also, if you look, um, there is a place, 
Yeah, uh, so go to, like, the left most, like, middle left, uh, like, peninsula of stone kicking out. Oh, okay. Do you see, like, that, like, grainy thing at the end of it? It's kind of sticking up, very phallic looking. Eh, I may have destroyed it, but yes. Okay, there's oh. compacted steel in there. Ah. And that can give you steel. Okay, that's a bit of a distance, so I'm actually not going to worry about that. Yeah, it's just sometimes you need to. Oh, dude, Sege! Let's go! Sege, what happened? Sege has joined. Oh, dude, I just got Maynard. Pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would like a appropriate reasoning of what Maynard means. Uh, there was some dude that fell from a space pod. He was in shock. I brought him home and uh, babied him like a uh, mother hen. And now I have a... Nice. Yeah. Pig, chief of the Rosa of the Rock, has sent us a message. Wants to talk about peace. Uh, well, talk about peace. Uh, I just take jump to location. Now it's another area. I don't fucking know where that is, so I'm gonna go back. All right. <laughs> I forgot that I named this town. Please, God, save us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Small problem, I'm sure. Right, right, right. Yeah, that sounds like a great place that you'd want to uh, go spend the weekend at. For sure. Have you expanded any of your, like, growing areas at all? So, so I have four main, they're eight by eight growing areas. Okay. Uh, I have four eight by eights. And one is cotton, one is potatoes, one is corn, and one is heel root. Which yeah. the heel root just straight up gives you med kits, which right. is awesome. Uh, I did have strawberries and potatoes planted at the beginning and i actually still have so many i'm pretty sure i'm gonna last through the winter because of it nice nice I, so uh, food is no longer an issue for me currently as well because i made a uh, a cooler essentially like a big freezer and now i have something like a hundred well a local tortoise has gone mad oh god <laughs> <laughs> the mad animals kill me every time it's so funny to me. Oh, it's God. like, a rat has gone mad. And it's like, okay, just step on it. Oh, no. <laughs> Jonas is sitting out in the middle of the fucking... What? What are you doing, buddy? Come come over here and shoot the ever-loving shit out of this tortoise. Thank you. <laughs> and my dog is here to save the day. God, this game just, like... Uh, things spiral out of control faster than, uh, faster than you can breathe, like, 99% of the time. How's my hair doing? I'm noticing. My hair is healthy. It needs food. Where is it? Where Where the hell is... I found... Oh, by the way, I found out where... Oh, it's in my house. Okay, cool. Nice. I found out how to bring animals closer. And how... Like, legitimately. So, go to animals. Mm. And then they have an option for a loud area. Make it home. Ah, cool. Or you can manage an area and make a new area. That's and then, I like, think, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. I wonder. I did can, not know about this. Can so. you, like, can you breed things? I believe so. Okay. Like, I think if you got a, a male and a female, you can do a little bit of oh, doohickey yeah. with them. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not positive. You can't gotcha. breed here humans your people can get married right but i, I don't think i find that kind of odd that the people can get married no the people can get they... married but you can't really like make more colonists so to speak yeah uh, yeah i can under i understand like that could be something that very easily could just turn your colony into you know super easy win condition but I mean, having the RimWorld orgy ground could be... It could be deemed a little weird. If you but... think for a second I would not make an orgy... <laughs> Dude, I know you would. That's that's why I, uh... We... I, you don't even know. Yeah, um... <laughs> I highly suggest making a freezer if you don't have one, because I have, like... I do. Oh, yeah. okay. I say I have, like, over a hundred food that's just frozen and has, like, no expiration date. I'm like, this uh, is dude, great. I have... So I have... Two stacks of ten meals, right. two stacks of seven meals, a stack of three, three stacks of three, and then at least like fifteen seventy-five stacks of potatoes. So, uh, oh damn! So, like, I got food 
for a while and then like these crops are about to be grown again like a 95 percent on these potatoes nice. so they will be fine here soon i mean they are going to hate eating potatoes constantly but you know what we're gonna survive the winter <laughs> that's <laughs> all that matters uh then dude i have you had a uh, a winter in rim world yet no thank god they're horrible are they <laughs> like they are just the worst in every way Good so no you you should be well prepared for the winter i will um make a solid attempt yeah i mean they're really bad if everyone freezes to death then i really can't do anything about that yeah um what are your what are your ideas and thoughts on getting more renewable resource or energy sources besides these goddamn solar panels okay do you think so it's worth it to do the wood fire generator no i okay. don't however the there's a generator that is awesome and it's a researchable one and i don't remember what it is gotcha. uh, i'm looking right now it is gas opera no not that i genuinely don't remember oh god an unusual cold snap has kicked in and what the fuck something just exploded oh a meteorite landed never mind Whew, that was scary <laughs> ryan is having a bad time right now i'm what sure the hell ryan ryan has been like my my best person this entire time and now like and this is just so very low expectations positive <laughs> uncomfortable ate without a table mm. in darkness slept in the cold feeling bad my friend jonas died decent barrack ugly environment bonded animal died this guy's going through a rough patch <laughs> man uh yeah that's just that's too bad uh um, yeah. so i i believe that you have set a curse upon my family because literally as you said our winter's bad i had a cold snap and all my crops just died oh oh that that burns a I mean, lot i have a lot of food but i'm pretty but, sure you just put a curse on the great house wids yeah now that i'm looking at it like it's hitting 45 degrees out at night here and if these crops don't grow soon it's gonna be bad like i do not want to lose i've got cotton that is growing you know nice and quickly i need that for the winter right like, i need a cargo pod to just jump down on top of me and give me the good good but uh well you know i have no idea what that means but you you do you I, man <laughs> like I, I i need it to drop uh alpaca hide on me like it dropped alpaca hide on you uh, that's what I need. luck, because I am hoarding that shit like no one's business. Excellent. <laughs> Makes me incredibly happy to hear it. Uh, I am thrilled. Probably should have made some parkas. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to. Also, I'm hating myself because I just created, like, an eating space. Mm. And I now realize that my eating space... What in the hell did I do, honestly? You think I know? I dude, all my colonists are pissy. What what in the world happened here? I don't know, but I just had a raid, or I'm having a raid right now, and uh Best of luck to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. May the because, odds be ever yeah. in your favor. Yeah, may may the odds be ever <laughs> in your favor because raids normally I had raids that resulted in death. I had raids that resulted in dead animals. I had it it's never fun, so Oh god, hypothermia. Okay, everyone get the fuck back inside, please. <laughs> so it's that what what's the temperature looking like for you? Can you not run into the raiders, you bitch? Um currently negative eleven. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, that's that's a little bit cold. I have a feeling our Lolita's about to die. And I'm it's a balmy sixty seven for me. <laughs> Wow, must be fucking nice. Yeah, I, I guess here's what we have to do is just like, we have to do a video together. Mm. What in the world? Penta has named the hair Snorter after being <laughs> nuzzled. This is oh the, 
worst thing I have ever read in my life. I'm just I'm just saying, Penta, Snorter is an awesome name. And if... Snorter is horrible. Oh god, uh Snorter. you need to Snorter. You need to get the fuck out of here. Snorter. Okay. Well you know what? You do you, Penta Hybrid. Yeah. You wanna name your thing Snorter? I'm knock yourself out, honestly. Right. Okay. Ryan, why are you so mad? So we have just He's killed one raider. Nice. We have, kill a second one, they usually go away. So that's we, good. We have killed a dark light. Uh, Maynard is dead. Okay, that's great. Rip. Fast, Wasn't that the guy you just rescued? Literally not even like last video. Awesome. My dog is dying. That These are all <laughs> negative things. <laughs> My accuracy is about as good as it is in real life. Great. I'm glad that I look. I don't want to say I'm glad okay. that you're. Uh, oh, thank God. Struggling? No, everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. They're running away. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to say that I'm happy you're struggling, but I am gonna say I'm happy that you, all of a sudden, are having like <laughs> the same struggles I did. Like I hope none of your people die, but I hope that you feel pain for like the next three episodes guys you're leaving him out laying on the ground bleeding to death <laughs> with hypothermia in negative <laughs> degrees what the hell that's a major rip dude Jonas, i have I 58 someone. medicine what the hell oh i got a raid too i mean I okay have i have 57 but not yeah. bad dude yeah surprise surprise he has Fucking, yeah, he has an infection, probably because he's sitting in the freezing fucking cold while you're sleeping in nice warm beds. Can, can, oh, that's right, I forgot he's our, uh, he's our surgeon. That's great. So how's your rate going, buddy? Uh, it, it has just started. I'm lining up people behind sandbags right now. Gotcha, gotcha. Can you guys maybe not, like, sit and eat while your friend is currently dying? <laughs> that i always love like you do a raid and oh my god they're shoot wait a minute who the hell oh they're killing snorter snorter no not snorter, snorter you gotta go buddy you gotta run snorter's got no injuries right now but like realistically you gotta go god, snorter dude. snorter no <laughs> snorter no snorter yes <laughs> snorter i swear to god do not finish snorter i'm going to actually be pissed okay <laughs> ryan hide up there Madi. god there's like no good place for you to go to that tree sege you gotta go with that guy you gotta go with that guy ryan you gotta shoot at that guy Madi, you gotta shoot at that guy okay starvation what are you talking this will be about? fine oh god that okay so Apparently, this was the episode for both of us just to just have everything fall apart. I no, mine's going okay Is at it? the current moment. Okay. I just need to not have. I need to not have anyone get downed here. I th we're basically it's a gunfight versus a bow fight right now. Ah, uh, gotcha. And that normally goes okay. Okay, they're fleeing, but I'm gonna keep on shooting. Right. Okay. This is fine. Get undrafted. Get undrafted. Go rest up. Unforbid those. Have you been burying bodies? Yes, actually. We did make a dedicated area, and things are slowly decaying, which is great. Nice. That's good. Uh, you should... Yeah, I mean, you, you can set up an area uh, to just let them decay, or you can legitimately burn them. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Both of those are good things to do, I will say. I would appreciate it if you would heal my Lolita, please, because uh, she is laying on the ground next to a hurt person and dying. Dude, this this game is really dark. You know that? Oh, that's why, like, the whole orgy thing, I, I'm not... I feel like it's not even a surprise if <laughs> it actually that happens. was something, because the game is legitimately, like... It's got some, it's got, it's, it's seen some things, uh, in its time for sure.
Apparently so. Oh, great. Lolita has died of blood loss. Awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. It is. I'm sorry. I know Lolita was... Wasn't that your OG, like, number that, one person? Uh, it, yes, actually. Lolita was my first one. And uh, Lolita, Fatson, and Hybrid. They were the three OGs. So who do you have now? So Fatson is dead. No, Fatson's alive. No, Fatson's alive. Hybrid's alive. And our new one, Maynard, is also alive. Gotcha. God... Dude, it, I, I'm it sorry so, for your loss. Why is it so difficult? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh Jesus, Sega has oh. got an infection in her torso. Maynard just died. Oh god. <laughs> well, I mean, could be worse, I suppose. Oh boy, one of my machines is broken down. That's what I care about right now. Yeah, Dude. uh... For love of God, save hybrid. Dude, Sega has a peg leg. What <laughs> the hell? That's amazing. That's beautiful. Sega has an infection in her heart. Oh my god, that's like literally the worst. That's pretty bad. I mean, that's like literally horrible. Uh, Sega, you gotta come back to me. My sweet Sega. <laughs> I don't even know. Is this a guy? No, it's a woman. Okay. I Your guess is a good spine, man. Yeah, it's definitely a woman. But my lord, uh, it's been it's been a uh, a righteous disaster uh, of a video for you at least. Same. Um, uh, I just had an eclipse too, so all my crops died again. <laughs> so you literally you had a cold snap, all your crops died. You replanted and then had an eclipse, and all your plants died. I didn't even get to the replant part. It's just eclipse again. <laughs> oh well, thank so, you for uh, at least planting those in the hydroponics. All your crops that were already dead died again. My, yep. Man. Even better. I, I, th I honestly <laughs> think you are cursed. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I suppose it's just whoever... Like, like, each time we do a video together, the other person gets bad luck. It seems like it. Like, we, I was doing pretty good first time, and now you're doing pretty good this time. Yeah. Can I just have, like, five people want to join me, please? <laughs> Yeah, it's sad because, like, you reach a point where you want a ton of people because you're not getting enough work done. But right. once you have all the people, you can't feed all of them. They're all angry. They're all hitting each other. And it's right. just like, oh, my God, would you all just like please go away and <laughs> stop fighting for, like, two seconds? The worst is when they literally, they're, like, uh, rebuffed by somebody. Because then, like, instead of just staying the hell away from that person, mm -hmm. they continue to go run after them and try to, you know, mess with them the entire time. It's like, just stop for two seconds. <laughs> I know, it's dude. so annoying. Like, number one pet peeve in this dumb game. Number is... one pet peeve is I wish this wasn't the fucking Dark Souls of Simulators, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Batson, where are you going? I Okay, so I, I read something on, uh... well, how are we doing for time, anyway? Wait, uh, I don't know, actually. Oh, okay. I'm afraid to tab out because I don't want my microphone right. to just explode again. So, yeah, never mind then. Um, it's got to be soon. Yeah, I'm guessing. But, but uh, so I was reading somewhere and it was like, oh, if you're having wildfires, then why don't you? Oh, no eclipse, thank you. Uh, then just set some concrete slabs down so you won't it won't burn. So I started doing that and then all the fires disappeared. So, there's no reason. Now I just have, like, half a concrete strip sitting out in the middle of nowhere. And the people, for some reason, just periodically walk over there and then just come back. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't even understand what they're doing. Yeah, I know. So, I, I started with a base that's, like, sitting in the middle of a mountain. Mm. And I realized very quickly that I did not want to have to continue to dig into that mountain mm. repeatedly. So instead, I now have, uh, I have like a new base mm. in the making, and it's enormous. And I un like way underestimated the amount of time it's gonna take to make this thing. Right. So, really, it's just people are pissed at the barrack, and they will be forever. <laughs> um, but it could be worse. Let's Hi. be honest. Yeah, of course it could. I mean, really. Everything could always be worse. You're not wrong. That that's kind of the the rim world thing. <laughs> like, yeah, you think this is bad? No, no, give it a little bit. 
Yeah, just just wait. <laughs> it could be so much. God. I mean, I'm, just wait like five minutes. I'm loving this. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, give me a fucking break, game. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. I like, just when you finally fix one thing. Like, oh, here we go. Here we go. Getting raided? No. Toxic Fallout. Oh. A distant chemical fire has released a plume of poison over the entire region. Any person or creature not under a roof will be slowly sickened by the dust settling on the atmosphere. It will last for anywhere between a few days to over a season. God damn. I have had this before. It is what ended one of my playthroughs. So. Really? We'll see what happens, but, uh... I I think that is a great place for us I'm to stop. I'm in hell. <laughs> that does sound like a great place for us to stop. I'm, yeah, I think, I'm with I you. I think we're definitely good at this point. Jonas is just going to keep researching, and uh, Penta's going to be making food like a madman, so... <laughs> Excellent. And that's all we got. I hope Jonas and uh, Penta love being bunkmates in this hellish <laughs> world that we have, because that's all we got, man. So, so it's literally just two people? Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, cool. my God, dude. And now we're having a lightning storm setting things on fire again. Even better. All right. That's going to do it. Uh, <laughs> if you guys want to watch Jonas and Penta go at it in Woodsy's Colony, then make sure to go step over to his place. Uh, when we upload these, if you want to watch the toxic fallout and how the hell I'm going to handle this with five people in a tiny-ass house, uh, it's basically Big Brother all over again, then... Uh, you can watch my side, but thank you so much for watching. Go check out Mr. Widzy's channel. And for any of people viewing mine, of course, go check out Alexa's. It's some fun, if uh, a little bit of hell, but it is, it's okay. For sure. It, it is definitely a very beautiful game. We have started something that I will have uh, some serious, serious problems later on in my life. I have flashbacks <laughs> to this hellish wasteland that is a game as literally half of my map is on fire right now from like <laughs> I, I honestly this is gonna be so great because once we start releasing these i'm gonna go back and watch all of yours oh, and God. i just want to see the disaster that unfolds in this video because like, it has been a roller coaster for you i have been <laughs> i have been silently crying this whole video this is just absolute <laughs> garbage <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay. That's going to do it. Wednesday, we'll see you in four episodes. Yes. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.